All righty, guys. Let's do a mic check real quick. Mic check. Is it working? All right, guys, first let me show you what I did this morning real quick. I made another minimalist wallet. The last video, somebody didn't win it, and that's not even English, but they really wanted one, so I made one. I don't really offer these, but a quick side note on these wallets. I think, like I told you before, I use five ounce. Um, on my leather thickness, I use nine ounce and five ounce. I'll put a video up here on the leather thicknesses I use. However, how, however, for these smaller wallets like this, I think five ounce might be a hair too thick. So I think, cause this is right at five ounces and it might be just a little touch too thick. If I, if I was, if I had it my way, I'd get, if I had my way, I could just order. Guys, I'm sorry, I didn't have coffee. Um, four to four and a half. So, cause sometimes you'll get the five ounces, sometimes it's a smidge too thick or the butt is a little too thick. It's like five and a half, maybe even six at the butt, but the neck area is like five and that's kind of perfect, but maybe a little bit too big. But um, I'm gonna order just a small, you know, square foot of Concierge Buterro. It's from Rocky Mountain Leather. They come in small, you know, um, so, uh, square foot pieces, sample, and they can split it for you and they, they offer a really tight tolerance. You can get four to four and a half or four and a half to five. So I, I ordered a little bit, a small square of four to four and a half in black, just to mess around and compare it to this one to see if it feels better for this wallet. And if I do like it indeed, then I'll start making these and putting them on the website. But uh, yeah, this is uh, Wicked and Craig English Bridal. And uh, I still love Wicked and Craig English Bridal. Anyway. You have to get the whole side. Anyway, sorry. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry. So this video, I want to talk about the thread, the thread that I use and where I get it. And the thread I use is Ritz of Tiger Thread. I tried every single type of thread. I do have their whole complete catalog of a Ritz of Tiger Thread. Let me show you the sheet. I have every single one of these colors here. And in my research and in my experience, the 0.8 millimeter thread which is that in that wallet, the 0.8 millimeter thread is ideal. Two reasons why I use 0.8 for everything is it's thick enough for a bag. It is um, thick enough for a bag and perfect for a wallet like that. I like them spaced out, kind of chunky. Uh, I use like five stitches per inch, my, my punch. Um, I don't get real tight and finicky. You guys know that I don't like finicky little things. I like chunky. And the one millimeter was too thick for this and also the one millimeter tiger thread does not come in all these crazy colors. You can't get the one mil in all these crazy colors. The 0.8, you can get all the colors. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about is where to get this thread in full spools. I have, as you can see, every single color. And there's a couple of colors that are super hard to find. And let me show you some of these colors that are super hard to find. Now, on Rocky Mountain Leather, you can get full spools, but you can't get all these crazy funky colors in the full spool. So I did a little research, some internet hunting. Sorry for all the crinkle jobs. I just wanna show you a couple of these crazy colors that I have here. I haven't even opened this one. I haven't even used this one. But uh, yeah, like yellow is a hard one to find. Orange is a hard one to find, full spools. I think this is purple. That's a hard one to find. This one is super hard. Egyptian blue, absolutely beautiful. This is a color I use to make my wife's little clutch. And this is dark gray. They have a space gray, which is like a, a, a lighter color. This is like a dark gray. That's hard to find. And this one I haven't even opened yet, but it's, a, I think, Bishop. You can't see it, but it's Bishop. Different from purple. Those are all very hard colors to find. And I'll tell you exactly where. I'll put links in the description. I'm not affiliated, you guys know that. I just share where I can find all these things. So there's three places, Rocky Mountain Leather. You can get the natural colors, the blacks, the browns, the natural earth tones and full spools. Um, it's a little pricey, but you do get free shipping. So there's that. Then there's Abbey England, and I'll put a link in the description. You can get full spools and the shipping is expensive because it's international, 
However, if you, I did my math, if you buy four spools of anything, the shipping is the equivalent of you getting one spool at Rocky Mountain with the free shipping. So four spools will be a wash. So you have to get at least four and they have most of the colors, but like this Egyptian blue, funny enough, where you find this and some other funky colors, it's a place called Egyptian Thread. They have an Etsy store, but they also have a legit main website. So I would definitely check out Egyptian Thread. They have some crazy colors. And also one more place is a guy on Etsy, just a random dude on Etsy. Um, I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but I'll put a link in the description. So those are the places where I get all these crazy colors. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for the video. Um, that's a, just a cork, a, a cork quick one, a quick short one. Um, that's it. Have a good one. God bless you. Talk to you later. Let me know uh, something about whatever you want to talk about. And that's it. Um, no ridiculous outro. I don't want to waste your time. Okay. You have stuff to do. So do I. Goodbye now, everyone.